Well, you see, uh, before I go into the, how we're going to curb this MNS, we must make a distinction between the various uh, kidnaps. You have the Fulani government who kidnap ostensibly to extort money because these are part of fleeing Boko Haram people. Okay, that, that's, that's the thing. Because if you say they're Fulani government, are they Fulani government or they are Boko Haram, those who are fleeing, they are, they are Boko, combined? They are, they are Boko Haram, but you know that the bulk of them, because of the place they are coming from, are Fulanis. Then, they, 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 they kidnap, collect ransom, to possibly replenish their depleting armory. And they do this in connivance with some notable people. So in their own case, it's quite different. They don't know their targets. Notable people who mm. security or no, civilians? No, no. Uh, people in the society, including their security agents, the members of the security agencies. And now you look at, they don't have defined targets. They strike at any time, looking at uh, possibly vehicles because they don't know their targets. Does that make them more dangerous? Makes them more dangerous because in most cases, they kill. If they fail to get their ransom, they kill their victims. That is different from what is happening. That's organized crime? Oh, yes. Organized kidnapping crime? Yes. That is different from this organized kidnapping. These people know their victims. They know their capacity, they know their capability, their ability to pay. So they go for such victims. And in most cases, all they're interested in is that they must get their money. They don't kill their victims. On very rare cases that they kill their victims. So this, I, I want us to have a distinction between two sets of kidnappers. Yeah. So, wh whether it is the Fulani government, whether it is the organized uh, kidnap, like what is happening, both are dangerous to the society.